Hello, everyone. I'm really pleased to be here and talk to you about GoSQL, a project that we open source earlier this year. And as uh, Dor said today, uh, come on, how to we strive at Scylla for simplicity. And while we have the simplicity in a database, we also would like to introduce some of the simplicity into clients space into driver space. And this particular project takes GoSQL, a Golang driver for Scylla, and provides some more features so that it can be uh, more productive for you and also <coughs> easier to maintain while it's being still fast. So we have, uh, we have Chris Bannister, a maintainer of GoSQL uh, today to talk about you, the, the Golang environment and how you can actually use Scylla with, with Golang. And what you, what you do is we <coughs> take this uh, driver and introduce uh, some extension so that it can be uh, more productive for you. Well, and we try to be really play nice with this framework. So you can use our extensions as well as you can use GoSQL as you used to do. Uh, and mix and match those. Okay, I'm a software engineer here at Scylla. Uh, this project originates from our effort for database management and internal cluster management that we're working on. Uh, you've already shown you some uh, demo today. Uh, prior to that, I've been working with, uh, well, with networking and with uh, machine learning, uh, always as an uh, operation kind of person. Uh, so I had some experience in that field. Uh, so let me give you an example of the motivation uh, of what we have. So if you try to save a tweet at some point in, in your code base, you would have uh, to have uh, a mapping that would, uh, uh, a mapping between a structure and the query that you would like to execute. So it turns out that you have a pretty lengthy uh, list of columns that you have to synchronize uh, sort of manually. And what's even worse is that the order re is really important. So it's, it grows and grows, and at some point it's really uh, troublesome to, <coughs> to have this proper order of the fields and to make sure that at every uh, single point of execution the order is always right. And, and the order is really important. If you, mm, if you don't have this right, you end up with bags that are really hard to find and are only visible in the runtime. So what, uh, what can GoSQL uh, do for you? So we start with this concept to separate uh, concerns. So first of all, we stripe metadata from, from, from this thing. And this like list of fields, you can get it in a f there are a few possible options to do that. So here it's manual, but you can just get it from direct from a database, or you can uh, use some sort of reflection, go like reflection on, uh, on the struct to actually get those fields. And then another building block is uh, building queries. So GoSQL, one of the models it has, it's a builder for queries. And the result of this uh, builder is like two things. The SQL statement with uh, the, the normal, normal SQL statement that you would write, and also a list of named uh, parameters and list of parameter names that you would uh, use for binding. So we have a complete separation of like a building phase and binding phase, and then there's a scanning phase. Uh, so this allows us to not only have uh, this builder, but if you, you would like or you already have, you may use uh, parameter, named parameters inside of SQL queries in Golang. So some drivers support that. GoSQL does not. Uh, we provide like two means to overcome this issue. Um, we try to have a lot of, uh, to, to, to be able to construct 
uh, really advanced queries. So we support uh, different things like select inserts, custom functions, uh, token, token based pagination, uh, as well as the batch statements so we can uh, create those queries and batch them together. Um, and then, you don't need to do that, uh, what I showed you on a previous slide, but you can actually bind uh, these parameters directly from struct. So it works this way, that you're aware of the parameters' names that are supposed to be bound. And uh, you actually can get it using a reflection uh, from a struct itself. This is, uh, re reflection is pretty slow, but uh, with uh, caching on that, so that those cache reflections are pretty fast. I'll show you that in a later slide. Okay, uh, that was insert, and what can we do for selecting? So th let's consider, um, again, this Twitter example. So you would like to get some your user home timeline. And uh, the, bu the builder will allow you to really construct those queries in the runtime. And there's a lot of uh, features and helpers to be able to construct uh, uh, advanced, uh, advanced queries. We also support uh, manipulation of counters, uh, lists, sets, and sets, and all sorts of different things. Uh, so in the end, you would get a statement and a list of names. Uh, and what's really important, what's really interesting and when, when there's this productivity boost. Uh, so instead of uh, doing a manual uh, sort of scanning and mapping and, uh, and, and uh, allocating memory, we provide a helper that would do that automatically for you. So you just give it the query and uh, placeholder that you want your data to be stored, and it just, it would just load it. Uh, okay, so I said this pretty fast. Um, this is a benchmark, going benchmark comparing uh, uh, execution of insert, get, meaning we get the first result uh, of a query, and select uh, loading array of uh, things into memory. Uh, comparing GoSQL X to raw GoSQL. Uh, what's uh, worth noticing is that for insert, for the chemical use case, we're actually faster than uh, raw driver, and this is because of the caching uh, we use. So we, may, we, we don't need to uh, allocate memory uh, that often. Uh, and this allows us to reduce number of allocations and therefore be faster than uh, the usual way how it's implemented. Uh, otherwise, uh, the performance is pretty much the same. Uh, I would just, uh, I would just uh, uh, show you the, the, the number of allocations uh, we make is almost the same as the number of allocations you would do uh, yourself with GoSQL itself. Okay, so to conclude, uh, GoSQL would help you to build queries, to bind parameters from struct or map, or even you can map from both, and then scan it back into memory. Uh, and it can actually do more, your work. this is a work in progress, but we do it in, production, we have, uh, being a, we're being a C++ uh, shop, but we have more and more investments in Go in the Scylla environment for building tooling around uh, the, the database itself. Okay, thanks very much.